We're in Cape Town for the start of the Spin Drifter Offshore Powerboat Challenge. It's perfect weather for racing. Watch for points leader in 3E, Karen Harrison and Eddie Hay in boat number 67. Four classes of boats will compete simultaneously on the same course across Table Bay. It starts here in Granger Bay, crosses the shipping line to Milnerton, then down to Big Bay Bloberg Strand, and back into the rolling swells to Clifton. A sharp turn past Sea Point, then a tight course before the chequered flag. There are big swells, but just a gentle wind. The start is a running start. Watch for the blue flag on the boat closest to the camera. The blue flag is up. Down it goes and the race is on. Out to a quick lead is Spin Drifter Challenger and Alfio Reciti's Thundercat as they roar down at full throttle to take the first turn. This will be a tight corner as they jockey for early positions. It's Spin Drifter Challenger first into the turn as Rossini's Thundercat turns wide. Then the Spin Drifter Supercat number 77, Gambler number 99, Pickfitz number 88, the Falconer Brothers, Mel Hawtrey's Telstar 63, Billfish, St. Elmo's number 7, Shatamnik and the Boss are the lead boats as they head out for the shipping lane. Pickfitz is really moving. Oh, and there's a ship in the channel. Now let's watch for tactics. The leaders have split. The leaders have split. Spindrifter Challenger has raced to the smooth water ahead of the freighter as we stay on Rossiti, who has throttled back to cross the wake. It looks like Rossiti got the benefit of the split, and Spindrifter Challenger pours on the power to try and recapture the lead. What a magnificent sight. Coming down towards Milnerton, there's a yacht race ahead as Spindrifter and Rossiti cut their way past the gentlemen of the cloth. First to turn at Milnerton is 177 Spindrifter Challenger. Then 105 Rossiti's Thundercat, then Pickford's 88, then Telstar 63, then Spindrifter Supercat 77 and Gambler 99 as they run parallel to the long white sands of Bloberg Strand. They turn at Bloberg and it's now into the swells and it's 17 kilometers to Clifton. There's Pickford's below our Radio Good Hope helicopter. They've lost some distance on a wide turn. Frank Wainick at the helm and Brendan Van Diggely giving the compass bearings as they chase the leaders. And here is the new race leader, the Spindrifter Supercat, piloted by Norman Levison, with co-pilot Stan Roberts navigating from behind. Oh, this is spectacular stuff as they run headlong into the swells at over 120 kilometers an hour. Spindrift 
after Challenger 177, Patrick Howard and Tony Caruso are taking a pounding in their monohull as they keep the throttles wide open and chase the big cat. Here is the cat they're all chasing. Spindrifter, powered by two 140 Suzukis, and look at that commanding lead. Gambler charges on. It's rub the dub dub three men in a tub. Nick Venter, Johan van Us, and Louis de Toy with their V6 Mercury engine powering over the waves. Oh, and there's drama on the course. Spindrifter Supercat has stopped. Spindrifter has completely stopped. Let's get the camera down there. Stan Roberts and Norman Levinson are out of the cockpit. The cat has been snared by a rope. What tragedy for Norman Levinson, who was race leader. Now let's chase the new leader into Clifton. It's Gambler who's taken the lead and is first around the Clifton marker, followed by Rossiti's Thundercat. And coming up fast behind them is Tullstar. Well, these are some of the most spectacular boats in South Africa, pouring on the power past some of the most spectacular real estate, as we race down past Clifton and Bantry Bay and back past Sea Point to Granger Bay. And here is what they're all after. Telstar, Mel Hawtrey and Peter Baspin putting in everything they've got as they fly down past Sea Point. And another boat is in trouble. St. Elmo's has sent out an SOS and the National Sea Rescue is underway. Now there's a mighty battle going on as we stay with the race leaders. There's nothing but split seconds between them as Rossiti and Gambler fight for the next boy. Rossiti seems to have got the better straight line than Gambler and of course the Rossiti Thundercat is a lot more stable in rough water than the monohull. But anything can happen. Oh, oh! But here is the battle between Mick Venter, Johan van Us and Louis de Toy in Gambler and Alpha Rossiti and Robin Hood in the Rossiti Thundercat. There's nothing between these two as Robin Hood and Alfio Rossiti try to outwit this tenacious threat on their tail.
the powerful 3,4-litre V6 Mercury outboard pushing the 7-metre monohull along at speeds of up to 140 kilometres an hour. And Gambler has taken Rossiti as they search for the Table Bay marker. There's the turn, and Rossiti has turned tables on Gambler with a superlative turn. There in the wake is Telstar. But look at this for a battle royale. There is nothing to separate them. After nearly 70 kilometers of ocean racing, and that they're this close, 140 kilometers an hour, now for the turning Granger Bay. Rossiti is first in. Gambler is hard on the turn as they race through the sheltered water. There's still 10 kilometers to go. Rossiti, then Gambler. Telstar, Mel Hawtrey and Peter Basford. Spindrifter Challenger, Patrick Howard, Tony Caruso. Spindrifter Supercat, Norman Levinson and Stan Roberts. And Stan Roberts is waving his arms to his pilot. Could they have missed the right marker? And we've just heard that Eddie Hay and Karen Harrison in 67 have pulled out with steering failure. the leaders. Here is Mel Hawtrey and Peter Basford as Telstar 63 pounds its way for the final lap back. Can they pull that three-second lead away from Gambler and Rossiti? It's going to be a very close finish. line is coming up fast. And there is the winner, number five, Rossiti, piloted by Elvio Rossiti and Robin Hood. And you can bet they'll both be merry men right now. Second is 99 Gambler and third Telstar 63. A very close finish for one, two and three. So Rossiti now shares 400 points with Eddie Hay in class 3E. And it's Telstar, Gambler, then Spindrift the Challenger on points in class 3D. St. Elmo's being towed in. She dived into a huge swell and that put out St. Elmo's fire. So, 
It's Robin Hood and Elvia Rossiti for the laurels of line honours in the Spin Drifter Offshore Powerboat Challenge. So from Cape Town, it's goodbye till the next race.